Here are some reasons why you should consider visiting Pensacola as one of the places to travel to. Look at these beautiful white sand beaches, and as you can tell on this piece, there are not really a lot of hotels, it's more smaller private homes and a handful of hotels, so the beach itself does not get that busy. The sunrises are also absolutely beautiful with you being able to see the sun come up over the beach or over the ocean, typically rising on the east side. Given that it is the gulf, you normally get a really good view of that. Sunset normally takes place covered a little bit by the land side, but it also leaves some beautiful views, especially if you're on the east side of the pier. The waves at Pensacola are not very big, and every time that I've been there, I've never had strong currents. So it's a good place to go swimming. It also kind of flattens out a little bit after you're in the water, so you can go fairly deep in with still being able to stand. It's a good place to relax and to go swimming if you have kids. There are some isolated areas that do have some of that sea algae or the seaweed, but there's plenty of space to swim around it, and it's nothing that really engulfs the entire beach like I've seen at some other areas. The beach is very wide and there's not a lot of built up area around the pier, so there are several restaurants that face onto the beach and there's plenty of space to set up tents or volleyball courts. Let's take a look at the hotels. The last time I was in Pensacola I stayed at the Holiday Inn Resort and yeah you can see that is the hotel, there's a restaurant on the beach, they have a good swimming pool and a lazy river. The rooms are pretty nice and I'll link the video to the room in the description. And that hotel on the right is owned by the same group. So you get access to all of their amenities as far as the swimming pools are concerned and their restaurant by staying in the Holiday Inn Resort. The hotel does offer views of both the ocean and the bay. Even if you have a bay view room, it's not bad because there's an RV park behind the hotel so it's no high buildings that obstruct that view. Yeah, you can see a good view of the hotel with its swimming pools and the property next door, which you would also have access to by staying at the Holiday Inn and vice versa if you stay at that property. Panning up, you can see that vacation RV park behind, so you have good unobstructed views from the hotel, both of the bay and of the ocean. I have also stayed at the Hampton Inn in Pensacola Beach. It is also a nice hotel, but I would choose the Holiday Inn Resort over the Hampton Inn as far as an overall experience, and they have a better property with better amenities. Aside from the beach, Pensacola is also the home of the US Navy's Blue Angels that fly out of the Naval Air Station in Pensacola. This is really awesome and I would highly recommend going to one of their shows. Check out the link in the description for the full video of the Blue Angels air show when we went in 2022. I hope this video has helped inspire you to plan a trip to Pensacola, Florida. I really think it's one of Florida's hidden gems with beautiful beaches and a lot of other things to offer. For a more comprehensive list of everything Pensacola has to offer, check out the blog post linked in the description below.